everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how do we convert a quadratic from standard form to vertex form. So let's remind ourselves what is standard form, what is vertex form. So standard form, we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We've done previous videos on how to graph a quadratic in standard form. I'll link that in the cards right now. Vertex form, we have y equals a times a quantity x minus h squared plus k. So We've also done videos on how to graph in vertex form, and I'll put the card in the top right hand corner right now. So there's benefits um, to both of these forms, and we're just gonna go through and talk about how we can use the completing the square method to go from standard form to vertex form. So we have two different examples that we want to look at. One would be a parabola that opens up, like on example one, and example two is a parabola that opens down, okay? So let's look at example one. The first thing we want to do is make sure um, that we are preparing our equation for completing the square. So to do that, we need to have x squared plus bx by itself. So in this case, I want to subtract 5 from both sides so that now we have y minus 5 equals x squared plus 8x, right? So now we've, we've prepared our equation so that we can complete the square on the right side with x squared plus 8x. So now to complete the square, we're gonna say y minus five, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here, and then I'm gonna write equals. Because remember, with completing the square, and I'll link the card to the completing the square video right now, we can't just go about adding whatever we want, right? It's an equation, we have to keep it balanced. So if I add something to one side of the equation, we also have to add it to the other side. So here's what that's gonna look like. So we're gonna say x squared plus eight x, and we're gonna complete the square. So b divided by two, eight divided by two is four, four squared, is 16. So I added 16 to one side, I must also add 16 to the other side. So now let's simplify. On the left side, we're gonna do y minus 11, right? Negative five plus 16, excuse me, y plus 11. And now we're going to factor the perfect square trinomial that we just created as the square of a binomial. So this is gonna be x plus four quantity squared. So remember that's b divided by two, 8 divided by 2 is 4, so x plus 4 is our binomial, and then we square it. So now the only thing we have left is to move this negative 11 to the right side, and now we are in vertex form. So we have y equals x plus 4 quantity squared minus 11, and there's our vertex form. So if we look back at the top, we started in standard form, and now we are in vertex form, okay? All right, now let's take a look at number 2. Number 2 we have to be careful because we have this negative in here, okay? So let's start off the same way. We're gonna subtract two so that we can prepare our binomial to be to complete the square. So we have y minus two equals negative x squared plus four x. Now remember, in order for us to use completing the square, a has to be one. Here, a is negative one, so we can't do it. Well, we can, we just have to factor out this negative, so let's do that. So we're gonna say y minus two equals negative x squared minus 4x, so we've we factored out this negative. So now we can complete the square with what is inside those parentheses. So here's what that's gonna look like. Y minus two equals negative, and this is x squared minus four x, and we're gonna do b divided by two, so negative four divided by two would be negative two, and then we square it to get positive four. Now, remember how we had to leave some room, right? We need to leave some room here because we can't just add whatever we want to an equation. But now, did we add positive four. It looks like we did, but remember we have this negative in here. So it really, this is a negative four. So what we need to do is subtract four from the left side, because really we added a negative four to the right side, okay? So that's the difference when we're working with an a value that's negative, we gotta be careful there. So now we can simplify, we're gonna say y minus six equals negative, and now we can factor our perfect square trinomial as the square of a binomial, and we just leave that negative sign on the outside. So we have x minus two quantity squared because b divided by two, negative four divided by two was negative two. And now all we have to do is add six to both sides. So now we have y equals negative x minus two quantity squared plus six. And now we have taken our standard form, right? Standard form up at the top and now it is in vertex form, okay? So that is how you convert a quadratic equation from standard form to vertex form.